Well, pull over and let him pass, Marcel. Very good, sir. Secret missile launch sites. Magnificent, isn't it, General Combo? They look nice, hung with my works of art, don't you think? Auric, how did you lay hands on those plans? <laughs> Your colleagues were a great help to me. But I still need one piece of information. Where is the seventh base, and what is its access code? I'll never tell you, no matter what you do to me. Don't worry, General. I left my thumb screws at home. <gasps> but even so, you'll tell me everything you know. <laughs> Three generals murdered, two British, one French. They found Combo last night, near the docks in the harbor at Ostend. Before he died, he had time to leave us an indisputable clue to his assassin. Oh, Rick! I thought he was finally out of our hair. Sorry, no but we were able to track him down for you. He's living in Brussels as an international businessman with no background, no CV. There's no way I can arrest him without the Belgian police. Rest assured, we'll do the very best we can, Captain Blake. Go for it. That fool, General Combo, didn't even know the primary secret code. What a waste. Maddening. With that code, I could easily have ruled the world, the entire planet. Oops. Uh-oh. The cops! Move! We'll never get through that. This calls for stealth. Come on! We lost them. Don't move. Help is on the way. Take it back to Morata. Who are you? It's for Morata, Rapa Nui. <clears throat> His pulse is weak, but it's still beating. Rapa Nui, that's Easter Island. So where does this helmet fit in? What on earth is it for? Ah. Come in. 
Good morning, sir. I've brought your orange juice. Thank you. Leave it on the bedside table, would you? It wouldn't kill you to take off your hat when you speak to me. What a lot. What's he staring at? I never saw anything like him in 25 years in the hospitality business. Well, well. Good to see you, Mortimer. Come right in. <laughs> you're wondering why I disturbed you at dinner. Well, you're right, and the turkey was a shade overdone, but the Chateau Margaux was a marvel. Good Lord, Francis, how did you know all that? Put this on. Now look at me. Bleak. I can read your mind and I know exactly what you're thinking. Absolutely. That helmet is telepathic. Don't ask me how it works. I haven't the foggiest idea. Great Scott. What's this thing made of? And who on earth invented it? No idea. But you know who I took it from? Ulrich. Ulrich? That's right. By Jove, what a terrifying weapon. That's why I haven't mentioned it to anyone. I wonder if you'd do me a favor. Never mind, I was going to suggest we go out. Come on, Blake. They missed us. We have one slight problem. They're watching my car. Now, shh. Shock it! Over here, boss. Freddy? What are you doing down there? That was them! Look! They're not on our trail yet, but we have to find another car. This one's too visible. He'll do nicely. Perfect. We'll get there on time. What? We have an appointment? Oh dear, I forgot to tell you. I wanted to ask you whether you'd like to take a short trip to Easter Island, hmm? Easter Island? Why would we go there, thousands of miles? The man who gave me the helmet begged me to take it there. Well, Francis. I would have liked some warning. Oh, come now, don't be coy. I know you're dying to come. I reserved two tickets for Santiago. We leave tonight. Hey, hey! Look at the car! Watch this. Hey, Pogo! There aren't a lot of broads to cruise around here. Cool your jets, I got a plan. Freddy, are you sure they came this way? Yeah, but we had to hang around getting you loose. Ah, uh, shut up. There they are. for Santiago de Chile is now boarding at gate 7. Flight 657 for Santiago at gate number 7. Togo! Yo, ladies! Wanna ride into the city in a really sexy car? <laughs> What's your name, sweetie? Where'd they go, huh? Where are they? I don't know who you're talking about, honest. Well, it would never have fallen. Yeah, you got you. There! Ah, 
passports, please, sir. Er, my uh, friend there, he forgot his, uh, he forgot his... Uh, he left his hat behind. It's too late. I'm sorry, gentlemen. Yeah, that's right, boss. They caught a plane to Santiago, Chile. Santiago? Yeah, that's right. I checked it out really carefully. You idiot! You let them get away with the helmet? Ah! You see, boss. Please, Santiago, so they know where the helmet came from. I must beat them to it. So you see, old chap, the giant statues of Easter Island have never been adequately explained. The true story of this island is yet to be written. Welcome to Rapa Nui, gentlemen. You wish a nice hotel, not too expensive? You want to rent a car or a friendly guide to show you around? No, thanks. All we want is to find a person called Morata. Ah, the archaeologist. So you're scientists, too. I didn't think you looked like tourists. Come, and I'll take you there. My jeep is very comfortable. So, should we go? Sounds like a good deal to me. Oh, I'm sorry. Allow me. Huh? Taboo! Taboo! Do you think he did that on purpose? I don't know. All I picked up from him was great fear. He was certainly speedy. Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! Let's be on our way! She said it was comfortable. Is it far from here? On the island, nothing is far. Just long. It's over there! Near the top of the volcano, Rano Raraku. Would you look at that? All the huge moai, they're breathtaking. Baxter, the sea eyes fixed on the sky, standing guard over the old families of the island. <laughs> That's what they say, but you can't believe everything you read. I'd have you know this is a serious textbook. For instance, did you know they seriously underestimated the weight of those statues? They're far too heavy to have been winched into place on mere logs of wood. Here we are. Now you just follow the path. You'll pass the old quarries where they got the stone for the Moai, and from there you'll see the camp. You can't miss it. Look at all the half-finished statues as well. As though time had suddenly stood still. I think we're here. There they are, the desecrating infidels! The profaners! Shoot them down! I think I know why they're upset. It's... They'd better have a reason for a welcome as warm as this. Stop! I have profaned no one's sacred places. No! I did not steal the helmet. I am here. I bring it back to Morata. Don't listen to him. He lies. Kill him! He is the one who profanes this place. Put on the helmet. No! Don't touch it! It's taboo! Put it on. It will tell you the truth. We must know the truth. No! You have no right! Look out! Oh. Blast you! <laughs> yeah! Ah. I am Marata. I'm in charge of an archaeological dig here. And I do not need the helmet to know that you speak the truth. Already, boss. The 
crate's as good as new. We can scram. Forget it. We're staying. And this time, we're going to get it right. Here, catch. Hey! Ulrich deceived you twice. Once when he said he was an archaeologist and trespassed in your sacred place to steal the helmet. And once when he told you we were the guilty parties. It was all lies. I know we can trust Blake and Mortimer. Together we will put the helmet back where it belongs. Be vigilant, my friends. Let no one cross the line. This is the entrance to the sacred place. There's a tunnel through the lava. It is always guarded, as you see. Oh, by Jove! By the Tartan of Clan McGregor! You see before you the real mystery of Easter Island. The best part is inside. Come with me. Is this stuff? Oh! Ulrich expected to find a great treasure, but this was all there was. The helmet and these leaves of carved wood, which I think are typical of our culture and record our people's collective memory. Is that a Rongo Rongo? With the writing no one knows how to read anymore? That's right. There were ten of them, but Ulrich stole nine when he took the helmet. And I was deciphering them. Are you serious? So many scientists have struggled for years to discover their meaning. Yes, but remember, I was born here. All my life, I have had only one ambition. Translate the Rongo Rongos. It's too bad. I only had time to record the start of the story. Listen. When the first Easter Islanders arrived here, they discovered a virgin land. Except the great Moai was already there. But the people had their own gods. And this land is harsh. They were fighting to survive. But one day, a man decided to find out about the great Moai. He put on the helmet, and a voice flooded his whole body. It said, We of Markab salute thee, valiant earthling. We hear what thy soul says. We are reading thy thoughts as thou canst read ours. What do you want of me? To share our knowledge with thee. Our people will come down from the stars. Be ready to welcome us. Prepare thy people to welcome us. The man told all the islanders what had happened. And while they waited for the Markabians to arrive, every family erected its own statues to the glory of the great Moai. That's as far as I got. And the Markabians? I think they came, bringing death and destruction. War like extraterrestrials. I think so, but without the Rongo Rongos, I can't be sure. The helmet became a pawn in a power game until finally it was declared taboo and the great Moai was buried, shut away and hidden. Has anyone had contact with Markab since then? No one. That's taboo. So that means the great Moai is acting as a huge cosmic transmitter and so... Ahem. Oh! Ulrich! I'm so sorry to interrupt your philosophical discussion, but I must have it now. Give me the helmet! What did you do to my men? Oh, they hankered for the bright lights of the city. What? No! Another silly little idealist. You know, archaeology doesn't pay the rent. All it took was a handful of dollars, except for him. What a fool he is. Ulrich, you're despicable. The helmet. No, do not give it to him. Thank you. You won't get far, Ulrich. On the contrary, Mortimer, it's <sighs> lovely weather for flying. <laughs> Quick! 
Blake, stop that maniac. Adios, amigos. <laughs> Trouble. It can't be too hard to fly a crate like this. Get me out of here! Patience is a virtue, Colonel. Mortimer has gone for help. He should be back in a few hours. Sharky dumps your plane in the drink, so don't count on him. You'll be cellmates, you'll like that. Ah. What did you do with the Rongorongos? Ah, those idiotic pieces of wood? I dumped them in the sea. What do you think? They were worthless. That's a lie. He sold them to a Chilean collector, Domingo Perez, in Santiago. Bravo. He should be easy to find. Yes, but I read something else in his mind. When he stole the helmet and the Rongo Rongos, he made contact with the Markavians. And they told him they would soon be coming to Earth. Listen to this. Spectacular arrest Ulrich captured among the great statues of Easter Island. The officer in charge, Captain Blake, is now on a well-deserved holiday. <laughs> We're lucky that journalists always ignore the essentials. I am worried. Ever since I learned Ulrich made contact with the Markavians, I have feared the worst. The Markavians could invade at any moment. Oh, relax, Morata. What makes you think the Markavians would necessarily be hostile this time? I feel it in my bones. I did not translate all the Rongo Rongos, but I remember one section that referred to the land of our ancestors. It talked about destruction. Oh, come on now. In a few moments, you'll have the Rongo Rongos back. And then we'll go back to the island, and you can work on them in peace and quiet. Then you'll know what to expect if the Markavians invade. I hope it will all be as simple as that. The Rongo Rongos? Of course I'll show them to you. But feast your eyes on these statuettes. Aren't they glorious? They date from the 5th century. They're carved in ancient Toromiro. We don't care about your gugas. We called about the Rongo Rongos. You're not interested in statuettes? All right. Then let me show you some of my real treasures. Mr. Perez, we're pressed for time. We are not tourists. If you only want the Rongo Rongos, I haven't got them anymore. I sold them. I don't like the sound of this. Incredible. Must have a scale of hardness higher than diamonds, and acids have no effect on it. This is new to me. Why not try explosives, sir? We have some at the camp. I'll fetch them. Professor Philip Mortimer, care of Murata's dig. On your way, Maria. The walk will do you good. Oh, dear me. It's going to pour soon, I see. Roberto? 
Roberto! Where has he disappeared to? Oh, by the Dartner Clan McGregor! Domingo Perez doesn't have the Rongorongos. He sold them to a palace museum. All the best, Francis. That's all we need. Let me go! Let me go, you monsters! That's the guide! Unbelievable! We've been waiting for an hour! Oh well, that's bureaucracy. Never seen such a thing. Why oh. oh. the frozen humanoids? Oh, another of those helmets. Brain functions are slow. Hmm. They're immersed in a fluid cryogen that keeps the body temperature constant, and they're fed a nutritious serum intravenously. They're kept in a state of artificial hibernation. These must be the pressure and temperature gauges. Their technology doesn't seem all that different from ours. Roberto, the guide. Good grief. If they were put in recently, there must be a way I can reverse the hibernation process. Huh? Our comrades Lay and Dickey are ready to awaken from their hibernation. Arise, Lay and Dickey. Markab has assigned us a new mission. At your, your command. command. We are on planet Earth, 1,500 light years from our own solar system. We have just communicated with Markab. They informed us that a previous invading force landed here some 900 Earth years ago. Impossible. I know. That's why we must find out what happened. These two are Earthlings. We have questioned them. Like the other non-Markabian species, their intelligence is severely limited. They buried our transmitter. They call it the Great Moai, and they say it's taboo. Although their thought processes are primitive at best, the Earthlings have invented motor vehicles and even rockets. Nothing comparable to Markavian inventions. Wait! I'm receiving interference! There's someone here! There! Professor Mortimer. I couldn't help overhearing your conversation, and I wish to assure you that we Earthlings are ready to welcome you with the honors you... He does not trust us. Let me explain. We shall question him. Try to disguise your faults. You will not hold out for long. Pieces of wood. Now that's ridiculous. 
What do you expect from Earthlings? They call them Rongo Rongos. I can read it in his mind. The writing on those tablets tells what happened to the ancient Markavians. The two Earthlings are seeking them. They have not yet found them. We must have those tablets. Find them. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Now let me show you our Rongo Rongos. They're a new acquisition and we're very proud of them. No wonder. Ah, here we are. Our South Pacific Islands collection, the third case on the left. There they are. Would you be so good as to open the case? Open the case? My good sir, I can't do that. What? I'm very sorry, but it's completely out of the question. I must have these Rongo Rongos. The fate of the world depends on it. That's quite possible. Nevertheless, they cannot be touched. I would need clearance from my minister. If I may, I'm an officer in the intelligence service, and it is of the utmost importance that this man be given access to the Rongo Rongos. Well, I can't give it to him. If he wants to examine them more closely, he must apply to the director of the museum branch. In due time, his application will be processed. Get those Rongo Rongos out right now! <laughs> Please forgive my friend. He's had a long, hard trip. Never mind. We'll work something out. Vertical section, frontal lobes, number seven. Is that my brain you're slicing up so neatly? Vertical section, pituitary gland number one. Pituitary gland number two. You claim to belong to a master race, one with remarkable intelligence. Pituitary gland number three. You look more like hidebound civil servants to me. Stop fidgeting, Earthling. Ah, at last we're starting to communicate. There's no point in communicating with inferior creatures. You might try to understand us, Mia. Who said you could call me Mia? I'm trying to make you realize we're sentient beings just like you. How dare you compare yourself to us? Never mind, Mia. I will teach him who we are. Watch and listen. Then you will understand the might of Markad. Seven million years ago, Arcadians learned how to travel at the speed of light. And how to hibernate so we could travel ever further. And thus, we conquered space. We erected giant relay transmitters along our routes that allowed us to communicate with Markad. These transmitters also give us warning when other civilizations appear. They alert the closest spacecraft which may be within a few days' travel, or several light years away. <laughs> Those inferior races that can be spawned anywhere in the galaxy are potential sources of conflict. They disturb the universal balance. thousand Earth years, we shall return to Markab, our ship full of specimens, and we shall be proud to have accomplished our mission to control all of space and cleanse it of any new civilization. There, miserable Earthling, that is Markab. Markab rules the universe. Now, do you understand?
You are certain that I cannot take them with me now? Of course I am. We'd never get them out of France. We'll deal with that later. Hurry, I'll keep watch. Case on the left. Morata. Put this on. Those tablets relate how your people got rid of the earlier Maccabian invasion force. You are going to translate them for us. Those who came from the stars greeted the high priest and spoke to him in thought, as is the custom among them. They entered with him into the hut that flies. The others sat down in a circle before the metal door and began to intone a chant to the glory of the god Maccae. That's nonsense! Maybe, but he speaks the truth. Would you like me to go on? Stay here. I'll deal with it. This way, quickly. are not answering, and yet the space mobile is on its way back. What if Lei and Deki arrived on target too late to lay hands on the Rongo Rongos? What if the Earthlings have already learned how to destroy us? That's impossible. It may be impossible, but it's what happened to the first mission. If there's any doubt, you know the orders. Immediately initiate procedures to exterminate the species. The device is ready. Uh. In that case, let's deal with this Earthling first. I'm very worried about Mortimer and Roberto. Have you almost finished translating the Rongo Rongos? I will try and summarize the main points for you. The High Priest escaped from the spacecraft and said that the Markabians wanted to destroy the world. Destroy the world? I'm sure you've noticed we are experts in the brain in all its forms. We will subject yours to radiation, then leave your corpse on the ground. Your brain will emit lethal psychic waves that will spread all over your planet, invading and destroying every member of your species. It'll never work! Something always goes wrong, haven't you noticed? Of course you have. The first mission failed, you said so yourself. Do not heed him. He's playing for time. Earthling, I will shut your mouth for good. What? Credulous fool. Our weapons harm others, not us. Sorry it took us so long. Maria! Don't apologize, your timing is perfect. Shut the main hatch!
Rano Raraku, the great volcano, vented its fury. And those who came from the stars dropped their weapons. They writhed on the ground, their faces turned white and crumbled like sand. Rano Raraku then vanquished those who came down from the stars. I do trust that doesn't mean we have to wait for an earthquake to get rid of the Markavians. Ah, Blake! Did you do it? Hello, I'm delighted to find you both safe and sound. Yes, yes, but I can't explain. We must be quick. Did you find out how they defeated the Markabians the last time? Yes, we did. It took an earthquake. You mean, with an earthquake? <laughs> okay. Do you know if those explosives are still back at the camp? What's the good of that, Philip? You can't recreate an earthquake with a couple of sticks of dynamite. No, but I've noticed that the Markabians are particularly sensitive to low-frequency noises like thunder. Good. This specimen is ready for the first experiment. You will regret this. Oh, dear. She's no brighter than the last one. Sacred site will remain taboo. It will be turned into an ultra secret research station. Morata will be in charge with Roberto as his chief assistant. Now we must think of the future. Other peoples, other worlds in the universe are threatened as we were threatened by the destructive madness of Markab. Soon we hope we will be able to avert this danger that faces all extraterrestrial worlds.